Speaking of, I'm curious, like talking to people for this podcast, the people's backgrounds with music have been just like wildly different Mm -hmm. Um, and why they got into has been like super different. So I'm just wondering when you were a kid, what do you think is one of your earliest memories when you connected with music and you're like, oh, wow, this is like, I like this. It was actually quite recent. I think I was um, 18. Okay. I mean, uh, I've been learning how to produce for a couple of years before that, but I wasn't like, I didn't really feel like I was connected to the music that I was trying to make because like, I couldn't choose uh, what I wanted to make. Why not? Um, I mean, uh, I, I was trying to learn how to produce because um, it felt, it kind of felt right. And okay. I I was listening to lots of like music as well, but um I just didn't feel like not much of them were like mine. Okay. I'm I'm so bad at explaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. So like it didn't feel like you were yours. You were learning to produce because you wanted to, right? It wasn't because somebody else told you to. But you mm-hmm. weren't like maybe you weren't uh like it didn't feel like yours was it because you were like imitating other people's tracks to try to learn the the techniques of production oh yes yes yeah that i think that is like the best best explanation on that okay so it was more like because you were learning you're just imitating instead of fully taking that idea in your head and then making it real yeah and something totally original i yeah i didn't feel like i was like getting inspired from other other artists until i turned like 18 okay and then what happened when you were 18 res happened <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was sick. Res, i mean like uh, i was uh, i was making lots of like future bass melodic dubstep progressive house like that kind of stuff mm-hmm. before that. and then i found out about like most of the what we call mid-tempo or dark techno yeah. or dark electro uh, there's like too many names of it i agree and then yeah and then i fell in love with that immediately and was listening to that like 24 7. okay and that's when it clicked you're like ah this this is what i want to do yes Nice. When you were growing up, did you really have music around? Like, what led you to to start wanting to produce in the first place? Did you ever learn an instrument when you were a kid, or did your parents have music on when you were a kid? Mm, I don't have. I don't think I have that much of a music background, as in like my parents were musical or something like that. Mm-hmm. I did. I did learn how to play piano when I was a kid, just like every other Asian kids. <laughs> it's that or violin. Yeah, that or violin. So, so yeah, I did piano for like a year when I was six. Okay. And then I, uh, and then I cut my finger on accident and I had to stop playing. You didn't cut it on the piano, did you? No, no, not, not, not okay. from the piano. Yeah, okay. I didn't cut it on the piano. And then, uh, and then I pl- I learned how to play uh, clarinet for like six months. Oh, nice! I played clarinet too. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played it for a few years. I I I cannot like at all right now. Have you tried to go back to it? Uh, not really. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't. I didn't feel like there was like much use of it. I understand totally. So yeah, I guess that was my first music experience as a mm-hmm. kid. And then uh, somewhere around my early teens, I started listening to the K-pops. Okay. And that 
uh, around that time, there were uh, TV XQ. Uh, there, there. Uh, it's the it's the name of the artist. Okay. Name of the K-pop band. Yeah, there were artists like TVXQ, um, Big Bang, Shiny, Beast, and so on. Okay. Like, mo uh, most of the K-pops I listened listened to when I was like really young, were actually quite dark compared to the K-pop that you can find at the moment. Really. In terms of like yes. the 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 sound of it or the the messagings or both the sound okay the sounds so yeah um I think I'm like subconsciously heavily influenced by those sounds because they 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 did lots of like electronic like synth sounds on K-pop mm -hmm. so yeah definitely influenced by those all right is that like the the electronic K-pop sort of thing do you think that's what brought you to like uh american and i guess uk uh electronic music styles was that kind of the gateway into it no uh that comes a little bit later okay. a little bit after so that that's when i like got into like listening to music and then my sister bought me like a i uh, gave gave me her used mp3 player with some of the musics in there still and uh, she was listening to so much like metal stuff okay it's in like uh, metal and like punk rock like so, uh, some 41 was there uh, linkin park was there muse was there green day was there so i listened to those like in my like early teens mm -hmm. uh, shortly after i found knife party and screw legs at the same time. All right. So, so the dubstep I, yeah. revolution. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the first time I was like, oh, I like electronic music. And it's funny. I remember when like that 2011, 2010 ish wave of, of dubstep was coming out and getting popular, which I guess is like bro step now. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of kids in my high school because it's very divisive. Everybody's like, Oh, we need to find the sickest, filthiest dubstep drops on like YouTube or whatever. And then the other kids are like, dubstep sucks. I don't like it. And then there was like, I feel like the metal kids that I knew were like kind of half and half because half of them were like, this isn't guitars. This isn't rock. It's like, fuck this. And then the other half was like, this is basically just like metal, you know, like metal breakdowns and uh, things like that of a very similar structure. Yeah, so, yeah. I think there's a lot of crossover appeal, uh, especially with that super aggressive sound. Um, so how long have you been producing for? How old am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just turned uh, 25. Okay. So it's it's been seven years, I would say. Okay, word. So it was like you started seven. after the this discovering the electron the skrillex and the knife party and and all that and but when did res come out 2017 18 16 i think 16 i, mean, I, I found her on 2016 okay I remember. all right word so is that like to the like you know, the challenge of picking up a DAW and learning about all of the, the production techniques and like music theory and all that is like a big hill to climb. Was there anything that was like the spark where you're like, all right, I'm going to do this absurd. I'm going to learn this really hard thing now. When I, when I first started out, it was more of like, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to be an adult someday and mm -hmm. like have to have some kind of skill. Okay. So I need to work on that like either immediately or after I go to uh, go to university. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking like what to do in my life and uh and then I felt like oh if I do music as as like uh as a work the at least the work itself shouldn't be like as bad as 
other jobs. Yeah. It's even if it's like producing for somebody else, it's still better than working an office job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I actually completely understand that. Mm -hmm. I, I never thought I could be a producer. Like, in college, I was like, do I want to do this, this, tried out a bunch of shit. It was all boring. I didn't like it. I was, or it was interesting, but then you think about doing it every single day for the rest of your life. And you're like, oh no, that's not good. Yeah. So I tried out like every single thing in music that wasn't being an artist, like doing like live production, doing uh, sound, uh, for live shows, sound for recording studios, trying like artist management and like all the things you can do around music that aren't music. And I realized that they're all just about as hard as just being an artist yourself. And yeah. being an artist is, is the best, it's the best job out of all of them. All those other jobs revolve around the it's, artists. It's the most meaningful job i think i agree so yeah like i i question myself i ask myself uh if you have to do something every day until the day you die mm -hmm. what like what do you want to pick what's the less shitty one that yeah. you want to do <laughs> yeah well i think we chose right i hope we chose right oh i hope so yeah i mean like compared to what i thought making music as a job to now mm -hmm. it was i i wouldn't say it was the best choice ever <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not like, the easiest yeah it's it's definitely not the easiest like making like making a living out of it from music is definitely challenging for like most of the artists that i know absolutely but but it, but uh, yeah, but it is definitely <laughs> the most meaningful stuff. Yeah, that I that I could do. Nice.